Hey guys, today we are going to discuss on how to use completing the square on quadratic equation. Completing the square method in general is used to find two things. One is to find the roots of a quadratic equation. The second one is to find the maximum or minimum point of a parabola curve. This can be done by using completing the square to convert it to vertex form. For this video, we are going to discuss on how to use completing the square to find the roots of the quadratic equation. I have listed down the general steps in solving the quadratic equation using completing the square formula. The first step is to divide every term by A. I can tell you that this is a step where most of the students will miss. So, Please take note on that. The second step is to move the constant C to the other side. And the third step is add both sides with B divided by 2 square. Finally is factorize and solve accordingly. Don't worry about all these steps. I am going to discuss it in more details later. Let's take a look at a typical solution on solving quadratic equation using completing the square. Let's break down this working solution based on the step that I listed just now. The first step is divide every term by a. In this equation, we can see that our a is 1. That's why we divide everything by 1. The second step is we move the constant c. In our case, is 4. We move to the opposite side we get the negative 4. The third step is we add both sides with b divided by 2 square. And finally, we do factorize and solve accordingly. I understand that there will be a lot of questions and confusion on the step 3 and step 4. Don't worry about that. We will discuss it in detail. Let's start discussing on the step 3. How do we do the step 3 where we add both sides with b divided by 2 square? I have break down the step for you guys. The first step is we identify the b which is the coefficient of x. In this case, the b is negative 6. The second step is we put the b divided by 2 square. After that, we add it. To both sides. As simple as that. Let's try to do some example. The first question here is x squared plus 5x equal to negative 7. So what is the first step? The first step is we identify the b. In our case here, our b is 5. So what we do next is we put b, which is our 5, divided by 2 bracket square. Now, we just need to put on both sides. x square plus 5x plus 5 over 2 bracket square equal to negative 7 plus bracket 5 over 2 bracket square. As simple as that. Now, we move on to the next example. You might find it difficult because you look at here is fraction. Don't worry about that. We solve as it is. So what is our b here? Our b is negative 7 over 3. We do the same thing. b which is negative 7 over 3 divided by 2 bracket square. Now we try to add them to both sides. x square minus 7 over 3x plus negative 7 over 3 divided by 2 bracket square equal to 5 plus negative 7 over 3 divided by 2 bracket square. Now we try to simplify it further. We have x square minus 7 over 3x plus negative 7 over 6 square 
equal to 5 plus negative 7 over 6 square. As simple as that. We have finished the discussion on step 3. Now, take a step back and look at the typical working solutions. We have completed the step 3 discussion. Now, let's move on to the next step, which is factorize and solve accordingly. On step 4, we are going to do factorize. You might wonder why we can factorize like this and what is the principle behind. Don't worry, I'm going to explain that. So, we know that x minus 3 bracket square is x minus 3 multiply x minus 3. Expanding this, for example, x multiplied by x, x multiplied by negative 3, we have x square minus 3x, followed by negative 3 multiply x, negative 3 multiply negative 3, we will have bracket negative 3 square. Now, we simplify a little bit more. You can see that x square minus 6x plus bracket negative 3 square is exactly the same as what we started. So this is the principle. We are actually factorizing it backwards. I have created some examples to explain on this. What we need to do now is very simple. We put a bracket. We just copy the first x and here, which is the negative 4 square. This is what we need to do. To confirm whether the sign inside the bracket is negative or positive, you can look at the B sign. If it's negative, the sign inside the bracket must be negative. Now let's move on to the next example. Let's do the same. We put a bracket first. We write the X and we copy exactly here, which is 5 over 6 square. Again, let's check. Our B here is positive sign. So the sign inside the bracket will also be positive. I have created some exercise for you guys to try. Please pause the video and give it a try. This is the answer to the exercise. We have discussed the second and the third step. I think we are ready to solve quadratic equation using completing the square method. Let's start with the first step, which is divide every term by A. If you look at this equation, what is our A? Our A is equal to 3. Therefore, we divide every term by 3. We will have x square minus 2 over 3x minus 5 over 3 equal to 0. Now we do the second step, which is move the constant to the other side. In our case, our constant is negative 5 over 3. We move to the other side. Now we have x square minus 2 over 3x equal 5 over 3. Now to the third step, which is we add both sides with b divided by 2 and square. For this, we have done before. So the first one, we identify the b, which is negative 2 over 3, and then negative 2 over 3 divided by 2, bracket square. Now we can add to both sides. We have x square minus 2 over 3x plus negative 2 over 3 divided by 2 square equal 5 over 3 plus negative 2 over 3 divided by 2 bracket square. We simplify it further. We have x square minus 2 over 3 x plus negative 1 over 3 bracket square equal to 5 over 3 plus bracket negative 1 over 3 bracket square. 
Now we do the fourth step, which is factorize and then we solve. We have done this before, so first we just write the bracket. We put the x here, and we copy the last one, which is negative 1 over 3 square. To confirm whether our sign in the bracket is correct or wrong, very easy, we look at the b. So b here is negative, our sign inside should be negative. Solving 5 over 3 plus bracket negative 1 over 3 bracket square, we will have 16 over 9. Now we bring the square to there, we will have x negative 1 over 3 equal plus minus square root 16 over 9. We bring the 1 over 3 to the other side again, we have x equal 1 over 3 plus minus square root 16 over 9. Now we solve it further, we have x equal to 1 over 3 plus 4 over 3 and we have 5 over 3. The second one which we need to do, the minus, so x equal to 1 over 3 minus 4 over 3 and we have a negative 1. So this is our answer in solving quadratic equation using completing the square method. Let's try another example. The first step is we divide every term by a. As you can see in this equation, we know that our a is negative 2. Therefore, we divide every term by negative 2. Now we have x squared negative 7 over 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Now we do the second step, which is we move the constant to the other side. So we have x squared minus 7 over 2x equal to 3. Now we can move on to the third step, which is we add both sides with b divided by 2 and square. So our b for here is b is negative 7 over 2. We continue, we have negative 7 over 2 divided by 2 bracket square. Now we can add this to the both sides. We have x square minus 7 over 2x plus negative 7 over 2 divided by 2 bracket square equal 3 plus negative 7 over 2 divided by 2 bracket square. We simplify it further, we have x square minus 7 over 2x plus negative 7 over 4 bracket square equal to 3 plus negative 7 over 4 bracket square. Now we can do the final step which is factorize and solve accordingly. So we factorize, it's very easy, we just write the bracket, we write the x, we just copy this exactly, which is negative 7 over 4 square. To check the sign inside the bracket, is it correct? It's very easy. We just look at the sign at the B. If you see here it's negative, the sign inside the bracket should be negative. Solving 3 plus negative 7 over 4 bracket square, we have 97 over 16. We bring the square to the other side, we have x minus 7 over 4 equal plus minus square root 97 over 16. We continue, we bring negative 7 over 4 to the side, we have x equal 7 over 4 plus minus square root 97 over 16. We continue to solve, we have x equal 7 over 4 plus square root 97 over 16, our answer is 4.212. The second one is x equal 7 over 4 minus square root 97 over 16, we have negative 0 0.712. So this is our answer. I've prepared some exercise for you guys to try. The answer is at the bottom. For the detailed working solution, 
you can pause the video and study all the things that is here lah. okay i hope these videos are able to help you guys if you guys feel this helpful please give this a like and subscribe thank you very much